Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. I've got something really exciting to share with you guys. I mean, I know I'm excited about it. I'm not sure that you're gonna be as excited about it as I am, but I tell you what, my guy Drogo here, the sloth, pooped and peed all over the place. Now, you may think that that's not exciting, but to be honest with you, it's extremely exciting. For you guys that don't know, sloths will not pee and poo up in the trees or anything like that. They crawl down, they get onto the floor, and this is what pee and poo looks like for a sloth, almost like little pelleted type of things. But that tells me that, again, that he's moving things through. One of the things that happens with sloths is they get something that called bloat, where basically their stomach can twist a little bit. That comes from stress, it comes from transit, something like that. The fact that he is passing stuff tells me that there's no bloat. Now we're checking for hardness in the stomach and all the other signs for bloat, So, but this is a great thing. Once an animal actually goes to the bathroom, that tells me that they're settling in. That means he was crawling around. Wow, by the way, you can see smudges all over the window again last night. He must have been all over the place. And then he would have climbed down the tree, pooped and peed over here, and that is incredible news. That is just really cool. It's a great way to start my day because, again, when I get a new animal, I get nervous. You know, I really do. I want that animal to settle in. So every time we have a milestone like pee and poo, that is one step closer to feeling more and more comfortable with Drogo. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to start the day. So there it is, uh, starting the day with pee and poo. And now starts the process of trying to train my little alligators to eat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just give them a little click. Right now they have no idea what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead right after that click, I'm gonna throw some food in there and see if they'll start to eat it. There goes the one right there. Now I'm gonna click again. I'm gonna just keep on doing this until they get it. There goes one right there. Yep, they're gone. There you go, buddy. There you go. There goes one on this side right there. There it goes, see? At least they're taking pellets really nice. There you go. There he goes. You can hear him kind of chirping back and stuff like that. That's the process. So what we'll start to do is just continuing to do that. Just clicker them. Alligator's got it. It's looking good. There he goes. And I'll just keep on clicking, offering food, clickering, offering food, and eventually they'll start to realize that that clicker means food and they'll come up for the food, right? And right now we're just using gator pellet, which is a Missouri gator chow, uh, but we'll eventually move on to meat and stuff like that. But right now that's the first training for these little guys. Let's go ahead and try the bigger ones. So let's see if these guys can get it going or not. Right now we, oh, there he goes. One took it right now, good. Just gotta throw it over here, see if this one will take it. There, this one looks good. So I'm gonna try to offer for the first time like this and see if it'll take it off of tongs. There it goes. That's the first time it's tong fed, right? So again, in Gatorland, they were just throwing these guys food. So I have to teach them how to tong feed, right? So that is a great sign that at least one of them will. We'll just keep trying some others. There you go. Yeah. All right, it's a slow process, you know. Uh, for the next probably two or three weeks, we're not gonna really be able to offer gator feedings here as we're training these guys. But I think within two or three weeks, these guys will be taking really good off of tongs. And of course, the babies will be taking little pellets off of tongs too. So I'm gonna just keep on working with these guys for the next 10 or 15 minutes, uh, continuing to clicker them, get them to try to take it off tongs. And then hopefully uh, here in the next couple weeks, we'll be able to offer that experience again. I definitely miss my big alligators. They were so much fun, but these guys are gonna be great soon. We're actually open tonight at the Reptarium, so it's doing a lot of maintenance. Obviously, we've got to clean everything like we always do, but always when we open up, we do a little bit more clean on the anaconda enclosure and some of the stuff that just gets a little bit of water residue because, of course, the waterfall flows here and it splashes and then it kind of gets that kind of, you know, kind of residue on the glass. So, you have to jump in, just kind of take a scrubby pad, scrub that all off, uh, make sure all the other tanks look good so that we're good to go. So, hey, any excuse I can get to jump in with Ivy and Aries, I'm going to do it.
Ivy and Aries are all set when it comes to being cleaned up. Just have to do the outside of the glass, which is no big deal. But uh, again, it's always weird when you get in with Ivy because again, she like comes right up to you, starts sniffing on you. She's so curious, it's so weird. Again, if I didn't know her so well, as soon as she comes up and is getting right on me like that, you think, oh, she's gonna rail me for sure. But uh, she's just kind of hanging out, which is cool. Now I gotta go work on salt and pepper's enclosure. Really the best way to clean the inside of this enclosure is just to get in the water with them. Not to mention, you know I've been trying to kind of socialize and habituate salt in particular to me being in the water, even though she's hiding under the log. You gotta keep an eye on pepper a little bit. It's a little bit cheeky, but uh, I'm just gonna climb in, scrub everything up, get it all nice and good. Cause again, you can see that the waterfall gets all this residue on here. It's just kind of a buildup. It looks gross and we don't want people to see that. So uh, we're gonna get in here, clean this up and make it look spick and span. Uh, going in with some alligators, what could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> All right, so just a little bit of cosmetic cleanup and we're good there. I tell you what, they're getting bigger and Pepper was getting pretty gnarly in there. I mean, he kept on coming up, bumping my leg. I thought for sure as he hit my leg, I was gonna get bit. He's definitely great. He tried to jump out a few times. I mean, that is getting a little crazy. I think Salt is amazing and she's gonna be good with getting in with. Pepper, uh, yeah, we got a long way to go with Pepper, but still, it was a lot of fun. And now uh, on to the next. All right, are you guys ready? You wanna hold Drogo? I'm you've ready. never held Drogo. You've met him, you've hung out with him, but I'm you've never held him. I have. Haven't. You haven't either. So uh, what do you say we get out Drogo and let these guys hold him for the first time? He is so absolutely, you're gonna love him. Come on Drogo. What you doing silly? Are you nervous or are you excited? You excited or are you nervous? What? That was my question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie, you wanna go first? You going first? So how are you doing this? Take the, the, the blanket. The Whoop, hang on a second. Oh. So what do you think? Are you okay? Or are you still stressing? <laughs> Well, the truth is, I don't know him. It's so goofy. So look at that. His head. I. Where like, do you, what are you turning it around for? So silly. I'm going where he wants to go. All you have to do is just just maneuver his head where you keep him. As long as he's on here, he can't do anything. We're fine. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm holding the sloth. This is crazy, dude. I got you. I got you fine right now. I got you right now. Whoa, that freaking cloth. It reminds me of like a sky, uh, not a skywalker, a skinwalker. <laughs> Whoa! 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 He wants the camera. It's so crazy. Why does he know that that's an, an object? It's okay, Drogo. 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 Uh, seriously, dude, he's like grabbing it. Look at that. Drogo. Whoa. You're so silly. Okay, Drogo. You're fine. Let's get some food, bud. Let's get some food. That was stressful. There you go. And for those of you that are like concerned about it, this isn't going to turn into a sloth vlog. I mean, we just got Drogo and obviously he's cool and we love him and he's going to be a big part of what we're doing here for hopefully the next 20 plus years. So you're going to definitely see Drogo a lot. So if you like sloths, you're going to see him. But don't worry, it's not going to be a sloth vlog. We're just, we're excited about it. So we're showing you a lot of new things, right? We are still a reptile zoo, the reptarium, but, uh, but you know, Drogo will be in the vlog a bunch, but don't you worry, you won't get uh, inundated to the point where like, oh, I want to see reptiles. I promise you, you'll see plenty of reptiles. All right, guys. Whoa, oh, what's up? Guys, Whoa, what's up, dude? <laughs> you guys when you looked at me kind of weird. <laughs> oh, we were looking at you weird? <laughs> so obviously this is the crew that we're gonna have going on this journey here in just two days. You guys ready? I'm so oh, excited, yeah. are you ready? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 ho there. I'm hoping I'm ready. I'm hoping I'm ready. I'm gonna do the best were, I can. Were these Cusco's? Oh, oh, really? Were I don't know. I, don't I think know. Th they've been here since then, so it's one of those yeah. guys. Ah, oh, don't throw say anything. They're ours now. So, hours yeah. So, room. whoever came to visit us. Uh, we got some new sunglasses. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be gearing up, like I said, in a couple days, we're heading out, these guys are getting, look at this rig over here. Look at this. Look at this Get it on you, man. And what's going on with this, man? Man, put it on YouTube. 
<laughs> and then we got the other new and then we're gonna, right Yeah, here. we're gonna be bringing this one as well. Oh, you guys ain't ready for the shots. You gotta figure when we're in Yellowstone and some of the deserts, we're gonna have some long range stuff. It's gonna be good. Noah's gonna be vlogging on the way too. So you're gonna get the kind of hijinks part of the trip. So uh, definitely go follow him on his channel to see that stuff. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, like I said, I'm mentally trying to prepare myself. Get used to these guys because you're gonna see a lot of them for the next 12 or 14 days when we're on the road. And this palmetto corn is absolutely ridiculous. And one of the things that's gonna happen when we're on our trip is actually all of these cluebirds are gonna get a good revamp, which basically just means that we tear them down, we bleach everything out, disinfect everything, put new bedding in. Even though it's clean now, we want it to be absolutely as clean as we possibly can because when they go into brumation, which is gonna happen when we're gone, of course their immune system really drops down and you don't wanna have any kind of foreign things around. Look, oh, that sucker just bit me. Look at, he is a mad little monkey right there. This, of course, is one of our scales. This Texas rat snakes is absolutely on fire, but also a little pistol too. I tell you what, put this guy down before he bites me again. Don't bite me again, buddy. It's all right, I forgive you, I promise. So again, while we're gone, they're gonna be doing the revamp, getting everything moved over to the new Colubrid room, which by the way, I love this snake. I remember when we hatched this, and again, with Halloween season, I mean, I can't think of a more Halloween type of candy corn snake than this albino. Honduran milk snake, but it's really weird because you don't typically see these really, whoa, where are you going, little buddy? You don't typically see these really wide, kind of yellowish orange bands like that, so that's really cool. But again, they've got their work cut out for us. I hate to not be here, because normally I'd be able to help, but this time, uh, maybe it's a good excuse that I'm gonna be on the road, but these guys will all be sleeping. I'm gonna miss them, so I'm gonna have to say my goodbyes within the next couple days, because uh, they're gonna be sleeping for the next three months. Matilda's got her dog bowl. These are actually tortoise chow, Missouri tortoise chow, but we started to give it to her like this outside because it seems like she really likes it. And <laughs> she is so, she's just so adorable. I love the fact that she's just cruising around all the time and uh, giving her that more mental enrichment I think is really good for her. And like I mentioned, we're not gonna do sloth content constantly, but it is pretty cool. Lori, Noah both got an opportunity to hold Drogo for the first time. It's a little intimidating that first time you hold him, I'm not gonna lie, but then you get used to him really quick and you understand the way he thinks. So uh, I'm happy to at least have that and hopefully they'll be experts in no time. If you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor? Uh, right here is an entire reptarium playlist that you guys can check out. I really think that you'll enjoy it. If you grow up here, here, you can actually subscribe to my podcast channel. Please do that because that's a huge favor to me over here. I hope that you're subscribed to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.